Uh, so again, that was Barbarossa. Uh, that was a song that I've been trying to play for quite a few years. The last time I worked that up was uh, spring of 2020. In case you remember, something drastic went down on that year, and we didn't actually get to perform that piece. That was um, eighth grade band that year. We were uh, getting ready to do assessment, and a week before assessment, of course, all the school shut down, and we weren't able to do that. So um, it was exciting to work that through with an eighth grade band, and then a couple years later, because of progress of the students in the, in the program and in the district, be able to put on the same performance with um, seventh graders. So it just kind of speaks to the program and how much growth that these students have put on stage. It's not a hard, it's not an easy song. There's a lot of challenging things, uh, tempo changes and dynamic things. It's in cut time, which completely blew their mind for a long time trying to learn that musical device. Uh, but I think they did an excellent job. So again, today is about celebrating the students on stage and, and all the achievements that they've done. Through each of the classes, again, there are five that meet as a seventh grade band, and so this group has only been together this semester uh, three times so far, once last week, once this week, and then again today for like a quick 30 minute, just let's throw things together, make sure it sounds good, and, and I think they're doing an awesome job. But in those, we have the clarinet class, high brass class, which is trumpet and French horn, the flute and sax class, which also has the double reed bassoon in it, and then low brass and percussion classes. And so in each one of those classes, we wanted to recognize the students for the achievements they've been working on. So in each class, I kind of got some input from the students to see what they thought of their peers. And so the first um, category of awards I want to present tonight to these students is outstanding musicianship. And so this is a student who shows up there. They've always um, come prepared, ready to play whatever we're doing in class, whether it's a test or a new exercise or a massive book of scales that we've been working on all year long. They've always been prepared and ready to go. So we're going to start with the clarinet class. The outstanding musician in clarinet is Riley Elder. For the high brass class, it's Amber Martz. For the flute and sax, it's Sanjay Sanjit. And low brass is Josh Neiswanger. Percussion, that is Brant Griffith. Outstanding musicians around our class. The dog waters falls around the rivers of the underworld in Greek mythology. The rivers separating the land of the living and the afterlife. The most famous of these is the River of Styx, typically represented alongside the, hold on, the ferryman, Sharon, who would accept payment in return for carrying the souls of the recently deceased across the dark waters.
forgot to mention that we had a, a, a Brandon Fisher on alto sax doing a, a short little solo. So good job, Brandon. Excited to talk about the next song. Okay, so a couple more awards that we're gonna hand out. Um, I'm gonna run through all five classes. The second will be our Outstanding Character Award. And that one is, again, when you think about a band student, what's the ideal uh, temperament and behavior that you want from a student in your band program? So these are students that show up uh, not on time, but early, and they, they have their, their pencils and their music and their reads and all their things that they have um, to be ready for class. Uh, they're responsible, getting there early to help move things and staying late, late to pack up things from um, other people that got in a hurry, and so these are the students who just had outstanding character for this school year. So I'm going to list through all five real quick, and you guys come up when you call your name, and we'll applaud all five at the end. From clarinet, we have Leilani Herbert, high brass, Jude Fremsdorf, flute and sax, Mohit Mali, uh, low brass, Kennedy Maber, and percussion, Andrew Hill. recognized for the individual classes is most improved and, and that is again somebody who who come in and works real hard and they um, have, have a goal for themselves and, and they work to achieve that asking help spending some time uh, during seminar or asking to come in before class to get some extra help and just have really shown tremendous strides in their individual achievement this year so most improved in clarinet is Inesh Fasarati high brass is Luke Orlicek flute and sax is Kaysen Hopper Low brass, Ethan Wagner, and percussion, Olivia Moore. We live in an electric world. Our homes, our phones, our televisions, our games, our music, and our lives that are all tied to this source of energy. It has the power to create and destroy. It is truly one of the most awesome forces in our universe. High voltage attempts to convey the energy and excitement of electricity racing across the sky, across wires, and across the world. 